Okay, guys. So first I have this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, it looks like this inside. So I've tried other putty primers and I do like them, but I've never tried this one. So hopefully it works out and we like it. But I just put some of my Beauty Blender. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I said some, not a lot, Jacqueline. And put it on my skin. Okay. I don't like to put too much on my nose. My nose tends to be super oily. And I notice that when I put a lot of primer, especially like uh, pore filling and mattifying primers, by the end of the day, the foundation on my nose always like slips off. And I'll still have, you know, like a full face of makeup. And then right at my nose, it'll be no makeup at all. And I can't stand that. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate it. But I don't know why my face does it, but. So I try to watch putting too much primer on there. That So hopefully it won't do that. Okay, so the foundation I'm going to be using is not a new one, but it's a new one to me. I just got it um, yesterday. It's uh, the Infallible Total Cover. There it is by L'Oreal, I think. Yeah, L'Oreal Paris. Um, I have heard a couple good things about this. This is a 24-hour foundation and this color is 303 I'm hoping it's my shade they say it's a natural finish it wears up to 24 hours the coverage is a high coverage and the texture is air light so let's see how this looks I'm gonna squirt a little on my hand here and hope this matches my face Mm -mm, looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Get in. Oh, it did look pretty good. I don't know. Oh, no, I think it's okay. Mm. Let some of my ears. I love the way foundation looks on a beauty blender, but sometimes I can't stand doing my foundation with a beauty blender because it takes so long and I feel like I'm punching myself in the face. I'm like, oh, when I use a brush, it just goes on real fast. But then I like the way it looks with a beauty blender. I need a little more foundation on my hand. I think I actually might switch to a brush. Okay, and this is my foundation brush. Uh, this is a flat top foundation brush. I'm not for sure who it's from, but I really love this foundation brush. So... Just gonna move it and slurp circular motion. Cover my eyelids. Another one. Bring it down the neck. Don't look at my double chin. Sorry. I can't help it. Well, I can't help it. Actually, that was wrong. 
But then I couldn't eat Taco Bell. And have fun. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving the camera in front of the lens. I apologize. Okay. Okay, I think I look good. Next, I'm going to use, this is also new. This is, well, new to me, excuse me. This is the e.l.f. 16-hour con uh, camo concealer. And I am in the shade Medium Peach. This, I am going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. So, we're going to dab a little there. Dab a little there. Some in my forehead and on my chinny and down my nosy. Okay, and let's bounce that bitch with a beauty blender. Excuse my French. Sorry. Oh my god. So. It's kind of random, but, well, not random, it's about makeup, but I love Tati Westbrook so, so much, like, she is such an inspiration to me, oh my god, I love her, and I cannot wait until I get paid to get her palette, I'm so obsessed with it, all my luck will be sold out, and I won't be able to get it, and then Jeffree Star and Sean, I mean, Sean, mm, Shane Dawson's palette is coming out tomorrow, <gasps> The uh, not tomorrow, November 1st, which I think is Friday, and I cannot wait for that either. I love both of them, both of them so so much. I think I relate more to like, um, I love Tati Westbrook, she's so sweet. Um, hopefully one day I'll be able to meet her in person. Oh my god, she's amazing. Um, but like Shane and um Jeffrey, they're like they're so it, but they're like the outcast too, and that's how I've always been. Like I've been cool, like everybody loves me, but I am like the outcast. Um, and they just remind me so much of me, and they're both such successful men, and they they're such inspiration. I love Jeffy, Jeffrey and uh, Shane. Okay, well, now I'm going to make sure I got on creases. I got so many creases in my eyes. Look like a crescent roll. And I'm going to bake that with my Cody Airspun. Oh, set it, not bake. Excuse me, sorry. And then I'm going to take my brush. I don't even know what kind of brush it is. I'm sorry. And just like dust that all over. Just to set it all. If that foundation is 24 hours, I want it on for 24 hours. Not really. <laughs> I really don't actually. 24 hours is a long time. All right. So next, I am going to get my bronzer brush. And I'm going to bronze my face up. And I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this bronzer. It reminds me of tanning and the beach. And oh, I just love it. It smells so good. So I'm going to bronze my cheekies. No, I'm sorry. I'm not the best at doing bronzer or contour and stuff like that. Like I try, but I'm not like the best.
try to shrink shrink my forehead just a tad because I do have a large one. Alrighty. Next, I'm, I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to use my tart blush brush. Uh, I'm going to take my blush brush and use my blush from Tarte. There we go. And the the name of it is Harmony. This is a 24 hour blush. Well, not 24 hour. Excuse me, 12 hours. Well, they say it's 12 hours. I don't really know if it is or not, but. I love it. I normally don't leave, you leave my makeup on for 12 hours, but I do love this blush. And I'm going to add a little color to my cheeks. There we go. There we go. There we go. And uh, I like to use a little bit of setting spray in between steps and stuff. So I'm going to use uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, setting three in one primer water. It's prep, set, and refresh. And the um, the smell is like the rose smell. And I dropped my mirror. Woo! All right. So now, this next step is for my eyeballs. Okay. So I added foundation on my eyebrows. I normally don't use uh, the eyebrows. I, oh my goodness. I use foundation on my eyelids. I normally don't use eyelid primer. I haven't found one that works, but foundation works for me. Um, I am going to use the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Gani, Gani, I think, Sylvia Gani palette. It looks like this. I love this palette. Has really really good shades and it has a lot of different and then I'll show you my palette's a little beat sorry I've used it it's loved but I'm going to use this first shadow wolf or yeah wolfy and I'm just going to put that all over my lid just to add a little bit of a base just to dust it all over. And I'm sorry about my lighting, guys, if it keeps going in and out. Um, it's getting to be dark here. Well, um, not dark, but the sun's starting to, you know, like, go down some. And I was using natural light, and it kind of, I don't know. I'm trying to get used to the light, guys. I'm trying. Ugh. Okay, uh, in next, what's, um, I'm going to take this little brush from my Anastasia Beverly, one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, and I'm going to take um, S Club, which is right here, and I'm just going to build that in the crease. These eyeshadows are so pigmented. I just love it. And then um, this brush has two sides. has this side and this side. I'm going to flip it over and then like buff out some of this color with um, this uh, that side. And I just picked a little bit more up of S Club. Okay. And then I am going to take, um, with the same smaller side of that brush, I'm going to take a little bit of October and Bare 
which there's October and there's bear, just a tad bit of bear, just a little boop. And then I'm going to add that uh, closer to my crease. I don't want to have this go out too far because it is a little bit darker, but I do want to add it. I'm at a little bit of both of them colors again, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to darken the crease a little bit. And I'm gonna take that blendy brush and blend it out so there's no harsh lines. Okay. All right, that looks good to me. And then I'm going to take this uh this little packer brush and I think I'm going to go in to Wolfy again, which is this light cream color right there, sorry, and put that all over my lid. Now, like I said, I'm this is just a little simple look. I'm not trying to go too crazy. Actually, I went over my line. I do not want it all over my line. I do want to add a little bit of um, S Club right here uh, in the corner of my lid because I don't want it added all the way over. I'm sorry if I'm blocking it. Sorry, guys. It's just right in here in the corner where it's almost added all the way over, but it's not. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Ew. Um, okay. What is it? Okay, then I'm going to take, so I just started doing this. Normally I would use, um, you know, like a cream color, like highlighter color in my inner corner, but I seen someone, I can't remember who it was, add like fun colors in. So I've been, I you been using my Kat Von D vegan palette and they have a bunch of fun, like shimmery colors in there. And I've been adding them in the, into my inner corner, but I don't know what color to add today. I have added yellow a couple times, and I like the yellow. So, we'll try yellow again. I don't know about the yellow. Let me see the green. Green's my favorite color, guys. There's the green. It's, like, really pretty. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do the green. Just that little pop of color. I'll just pat it out some because I don't want it too too crazy. Just a little pop, you know. Boom. Boop. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, okay. Well, that is done. Oop, sorry. Okay, and now I'm going to take. Um, this is my Smashbox. What does it say? Smashbox, always liquid liner in the color black. This eyeliner is like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oop. Focus in. Focus. It has like a really sharp point. You guys can't see it, but it's like really sharp and it's like black as in bla black, black. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to take my mirror and sorry, I'm trying so you guys can see me do this, but I'm not the best at wing liner and I do apologize about it. But I try. And that's all that counts is if you try. And I just shoved my finger in my eyeshadows. 
Good job, Jacqueline. Okay. Start over in the corner. That's a pretty good wing. Yeah, you know, the quest is is when I do the other eye to get it to match it. And that's the hard part. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Smashbox Always On Gel Liquid Liner, and it's black. And I'm gonna do my waterline, and I'm gonna line the upper part of my eye. Does everybody always make them dumb faces when they do their mascara and like their liquid liner and stuff? Or more it, uh, waterline liner? Like, oh, I always do it. Even when I try not to. Okay, and now that that is done. I am going to go back into uh, my Sylvia Ganny palette and take this small little pointy brush and I am going to use S Club again and I'm going to go on my bottom lash line and I'm going to go kind of close. Nothing too drastic, just a little bit. I want the green to be the actual show. So, I ah, looks good, looking good. Now, I'm going to go off camera and finish the other eye, and I will be right back to put on falsies. Okay, and I'm back. And let me just say that... Sorry that this eye doesn't match this eye, and it literally took me like 30 minutes to do my other eye, and I want to apologize, but I'm not that good at doing wing liner, and also, I normally don't do my eyebrows. One, my eyebrows are very, very thick, um, so really, it doesn't even, I don't need it. I mean, I might need it in some spots, but I don't really need it that bad. And two, I'm not good at it. And um, I never really learned how to do my eyebrows for myself. Like, I can do eyebrows on other people. But, like, for myself, it just doesn't look right. They look too bold. And the fact that I already have such thick hairs, it just doesn't work. So, I um, now I'm going to do my eyelashes. Which, I don't remember where I got these they are called Teddy which they're really cute and stuff but I'm not for sure where I uh got them like who they're actually what company they're from I do apologize for that but I don't know and hopefully this doesn't take forever because I'm not that good at putting eyelashes on either it's a learning pro oh, oops I spilled my glue everywhere it's a learning progress you have to learn, and by learning, you have to practice. And if you don't practice, then you don't learn. That is the goal for today. 
that goal for the day, the saying of the day. Oh, and I'm using my Duo White Glue, which I cannot stand the smell of this, but it keeps my eyelashes on. So, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, snap, but I didn't even put mascara on. I apologize. I'm going to use my superhero um, mascara from Benefit. Uh, I like this. I like this mascara. It's all right. Which I don't really need too much. I feel like, you know, your makeup can always look good, but as soon as you throw in a lash, it's like a million times better. Watch, you will see. <laughs> All right, now, wish me luck. I'm going in. Try again. The last one. Oops, sorry, guys. It's all in, yay! Now see, normal, gorgeous, normal, gorgeous. It looks good, I love these lashes. I just gotta remember where I got them. You know, does it feel wonky or weird or anything? It feels amazing. Okay, now it's time to do the other lash. And I'm going to just cut to when I'm done this so you guys don't have to stare at me putting the other lash one and struggle again and I do apologize but I'll be right back mm -hmm. okay I'm back and both lashes are on and they look lovely lovely I did my bottom lashes so next is my lip oh well no I wanted to actually spray my face with setting spray again feel lovely and it is time to put my highlighter on which I'm also going to use again the Sylvia Danny palette because she has two shades in here that are just gorgeous and they are gorgeous highlighter shades where is my lighting brush sorry guys doo doo oh there it is so and these are these two shades right here. This one's more like a regular natural highlighter, and this one has like more like big re reflective things in there. So I'm gonna use the top one, which is Libra. And just highlight my face. And my nose. And my lips. Under my eyelashes. Oh my god, I got mascara on my eye. <laughs> well, the trick for that is if you let it dry, it will just flake off instead of messing up your makeup. Okay, and now it's time for my lips. I'm going to use the... What's... Easy Liner from Rips. For... Oh god, Easy Liner for Lips. It's, it's called Rock and Rose. I'm not for sure who it's from. This is what it looks like. 
kind of like a mauve nude color. I'm going to line my lips. I gotta fill them in. Okay. And next, I'm going to take Forever Met Liquid Lipstick in the color Honey Bunny. This lipstick, well, liquid lipstick matches almost perfectly with that lip liner. And next, I'm going to take, uh, it says Keep It Full. Um, this is my lip gloss. I am obsessed with this lip gloss. And that's it. So this is the look. Um, this is maybe not something I would wear on a day. Oh, oh, it's gone. I might not wear this on an everyday basis, like going to work and stuff, but I would wear this um, on a more uh, dressy day. But... I do love it. If I had the time to do this every day, I would. Because I, I love the way I look. Um, it's a little pop of color, a little fun. But it's not too crazy. But, uh, yeah. This is my look. So, if you liked my video, please like it and subscribe. And put comments down below if you have any questions. And, um, oh, Turn your post phone post notification on so you can get it notified every time I post. And I will see you next time. Bye.